Hey, good morning from the farmer's garden. I'm one of the farmers and I'm back in the kitchen today. This week we're gonna be making um, my favorite biscuit recipe. We have so many jams and jellies and one of the uh, most frequent questions that we get is, what do you do with your jelly? Our favorite way to use our jelly is on these biscuits. Um, and this is actually in the cookbook that we sell at the markets. It's on page 66. We are going to be making Supreme Biscuits. In our family, these are known as Marry You For These Biscuits. Uh, the first time I made these, Brandon was coming to visit me in college, and I made these to go with whatever we were having for supper, and he takes the first bite and he's like, oh, babe, I would marry you for these biscuits. So, that's our favorite way to use them, and that's the recipe that we're gonna be using today to make some biscuits to go with some jelly. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with three cups of all-purpose flour. I've also done this before with like half and half whole wheat in all-purpose, and it works pretty good that way as well. There's three cups of flour. Then we need four teaspoons of baking powder teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three, and four. All right, we're gonna use a tablespoon of sugar, which I forgot to bring over. Ta-da, tablespoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. There we go. Then we're going to use three quarters of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball that in my teaspoon. Ooh, it's almost gone. Then what will we eat for breakfast? All right, so three quarters of a teaspoon cream of tartar. And we'll kind of mix that together. All right. Now we need a stick and a half of butter. That's what makes these amazing. You can do this with a stick of butter and a quarter of a cup of shortening, but I prefer to use the butter. This has been sitting out for about an hour to get nice and soft. Ooh, that one's not quite marked correctly. There we go. All right, now we're gonna use a pastry blender to cut that butter into the flour. So what we're going for is small crumbles. Turn it off. You can see it's starting to get a little bit of that crumbly texture to it. I have also made this in my stand mixer and it works pretty well that way as well. So you can use um, the paddle beater in a stand mixer and that tends to cut the butter up the best. All right. So we're going for kind of pea-sized bits of butter in here. And if you can see the butter in the final product, that's kind of a win, so don't worry about it. All right, so. Give you a little bit of a closer look at how that is. You can see it's kind of crumbled up there. All right, now we're gonna add a cup of milk. You can also use buttermilk just exchange for a cup and a half. Let me grab a fork to stir. I always try to have everything ready when I get started, but I'm clearly not organized enough for this. All right, so I'm gonna get that all moist. A 
okay? So I've stirred it in about as good as I can with the fork, and now I'm going to knead it with my hands. Okay, so I cleared away some of the stuff, and I am going to go ahead and flour. You can use a bread mat, or I just clean the counter and then flour that. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump this into my little pile of flour here. And then I can get it all kneaded together. There we go. Okay. You don't want to over knead your dough because that will make the biscuits stiffer. The final product will be more dense. So you want to just kind of go for everything moist, getting all those crumbles mixed in there. And this tends to be a little bit of a sticky dough at first, so you have to mix in some of that flour to get it where it's nice and manageable. Okay. All right, so we're gonna call that good. That's nice and mixed in. I actually used up most of that flour that I had sprinkled on the counter. So, you can do this two different ways. You can pat it like this. This is kind of how my Mimi always did biscuits. She's just sort of pat it a little bit. And then cut out. And there you go. Or, Use a rolling pin, and that'll get it a little bit smoother and kind of press it together a little better for you. So I'm going to cut these out and get them on a baking sheet. All right, so we're getting these over here on our baking sheet. If you want them uh, thicker, just don't roll it out quite as thin. I tend to make mine a little bit thinner so that there's more individual biscuits to go around and that means it takes more biscuits to get full of jelly basically we also love to enjoy these with our local honey from spork in the hive in chapel hill all right so we'll get this piece rolled out again And these do not spread out much on the pan, so you can put them pretty close on the baking sheet. A little more flour over here. All right, and I'm really picky. I like all the biscuits to come out looking like biscuits. I don't like that last little gob to just look like a gob. It needs to look like a biscuit, right? All right, so I've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to get these put in there, and they don't take very long. We're going to put them in there and wait for the tops to get kind of golden brown, and then they'll be ready for butter and jelly. All right, the biscuits have been in the oven for about 10 minutes, give or take, and I think they're about ready. So let's get them out and have a look. I like to bake these at 400 so that they get done a little faster. Uh, you can see that. You can see they're kind of starting to get golden on the top. The pan is hot for sure. They're nice and browned on the bottom. And they are ready for some butter and jelly. So one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard about fresh biscuits is take two and butter them while they're hot. So what I do I try to get these buttered as quickly as possible. And so we'll just spread a little bit of butter. While they're nice and hot, and you can see how good that melts in there. They're nice fluffy biscuits and that melts in there good. And then I'm gonna go for orange clove because that is by far my favorite fall flavor. And so get some of that on there. That butter is melting and running. 
these are also great. Um, make some sausage patties and have some sausage biscuits. Put them with scrambled eggs. These are just good biscuits. So there we go, if you can see that. There is Supreme Biscuits. Marry you for these biscuits with orange clove jelly. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this. Thank y'all for stopping by the kitchen today. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed your visit. Be sure to like and subscribe to the page and come back when you can stay longer.